Hi there friends. So today I want to take you on a little bike ride along the path of the planets. Uh, this thing up here is a model of the sun. Uh, I think we'll just go closer. Try to do this in one take also. Well, this is a model of the sun. It's a bit dirty, could be more cleaned up. But it's like 1.3 meters in diameter, I would say. Um, the whole path is an accurate um, model of our solar system, actually. It's like up to, it's one to one billion, so one millimeter would equal 1,000 kilometers. And all the planets' sizes and distances are correct relative to each other. Uh, the whole thing is like six kilometers long, so we'll have to hurry up. I want to keep this under 20 minutes here. Let's go to Mercury first station. First little planet of our solar system. Here you see the relative size, just put my hands here to compare. It's tiny, of course, it's the smallest official planet of our solar system. But we'll also find Pluto here because it's an old model and they still have Pluto inside, which is awesome. Let's head on. I think I missed Venus. Where the fuck was Venus? Yeah, this is Earth. Damn it. Yeah, we passed Venus. Let's go back. <laughs> okay, this is a good start. Of course, here we've got Venus. Beautiful planet, even though it's a hellhole. It's about the same size like Earth. It's a little bit smaller, but living conditions are nothing like Earth, of course. It's a hell planet. We'd like to know what happened to it in its past that it turned out this way. Here we go, Earth. Just for size, I'll just put my hand. And there's even a model of the moon. Somebody knocked it off a little bit though. Yeah, we're still rather close here in the, with the inner planet. It's only like a few dozens or maybe a few hundred meters from the sun. Now we'll head to Mars. After Mars, distant, distances will increase here. Mars is a bit smaller, obviously. Continue to... I think they even have a pole for the asteroid belt somewhere. Just see. It's a beautiful path along the river. It's not that beautiful today, due to a storm yesterday. Let's find the asteroid belt. Yeah, now distances will increase. Rather exponential. Hope I didn't miss the asteroid belt as well. But, oh, here we go. Almost missed it. So, this will be for the asteroid belt. We have some comparisons here, it's all in German. Earth and Moon are up to scale here. We have Ceres here, we have Vesta. But no metal balls. That's okay. Let's go find Jupiter. So from now on the distances will get increasingly longer. So I hope there's not too many pedestrians around. I don't really like it if I drive my bike on this path. But it's all for science. So we, do, we don't really care, do we? Sorry for the bad camera management. Here we go, Jupiter. But this is ra rather large. 
compared to the other planets, obviously. But it's still kind of close to the sun. I mean, if you compare, well, I, <laughs> I'm thinking about Uranus and Neptune and Pluto, they will be really far out. But it's going good for now. Let's see if we can find Saturn. Saturn will be at the next station. Amazing planet off, obviously. I don't know if you ever seen the rings of Saturn in the telescope. If you didn't, you really should. It's beautiful, it's an amazing experience. So, a little bit of the river. The pedestrians. Where is our Saturn? I think I can see it up there in the distance. Yeah, and it even has a ring. That's rather pretty. Here we go. That's our model of Saturn. Yeah, pretty ring to compare the sizes a bit. It is smaller than Jupiter, obviously, but the ring span is even much larger. Okay. Now I think We'll have a long ride till we arrive at Uranus, or Uranus, or Uranus, however you want to call it. This will take a while. Well, basically, I know this path like since I'm a child. I think we went here with school even. It's really good to show kids or like people in general about the distances of the solar system how big like distances are and how small like all the stuff in the universe is I mean if you imagine like how much matter and how much empty space there is it's unbelievable actually how little matter is around. <laughs> We're still quite far from Uranus, I think. Well, also one thing I wanted to mention, what inspired me for this video here, it's basically a video that Cody's lab did a while ago. I don't know if you don't know Cody's lab, if you don't, you really, really missed something. He's like one of the best science YouTubers ever. <laughs> and he made a video, actually, almost with the same thing. He made a scale model of the solar system. But instead of like one and a half meter big ball for the sun, he took a pea. So it's only like the size of a pea, the sun. And in his model, Pluto, I think he had Pluto in, I'm not sure anymore. It was like the length of a football field away. Here, Pluto will be almost six kilometers away from the sun. Really hope I didn't miss Uranus. No, I think it's back here somewhere. And also, about that Cody's lab video. And, 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 and where are we going up here? Um, Cody actually included 
um, the next stars to our own star, the sun, in his model with the P size. And I can't remember the number exactly, but he drove like more than 200 miles to get to Proxima Centauri and Alpha Centauri. The war model is a bit bigger in scale, but if I include Alpha Centauri here, this would be like a very long bicycle holiday. Couldn't do it in one day for sure. I didn't do the math, not exactly sure how far it would be, but yeah. Because that's where my inspiration is from. I'll put a link to Cody's video in the description, of course. And I think, slowly, we should get close to Uranus somehow. Has to be somewhere here. We missed it. Go back. Here we go, Uranus. Whew. This is size comparison. Still, it's rather large. Should be about the same size like Neptune, which will be our next station. Oh. Really trying to get this under 20 minutes. Not sure if I make it. Let's see. So, where's Neptune? Oh, there's flies landing in my eyes. Oh, don't care. Almost crashed. <laughs> Where is Neptune? Neptune is now the officially outermost planet of the solar system. Because, of course, they kicked out Pluto, if you don't know yet. Which I'm not really sure in which team I am. I mean, Pluto is really small. It's even smaller than. Ceres, I believe, some of the bigger asteroids. So, scientifically, it kind of makes sense to, to be graded to planetoid. However, since I've seen the pictures and the data from the New Horizons space probe that arrived at Pluto a while back, it's such an amazing world. It's really interesting. Everybody thought it would be just boring, but it's not at all. Its moon system is extremely interesting. It has an atmosphere, even though it's like part-time atmosphere, I believe. And it's beautiful. It's like red and white and black, not just a gray rock, like everyone expected. Oof. I don't know how much sense it makes to talk too much here. As you see, I really need my breath. I think we're making it under 20 minutes. We didn't even get shouted at by the pedestrian. That happens a lot normally. Uh.
Ooh. Where the hell is the Neptune? Ah, almost there. Okay, the last bump in the road almost. Well, no, I didn't really crash, but my camera did. Just close the camera. We'll just pretend this didn't happen, and it's still a one take video. <laughs> Put my hand down a bit. Be a bit more shaky for the video though. Oh, here we go, Neptune. There he is. There he is. Poseidon, mighty god of the sea. Neptune, of course. Okay. So, last. Last briefing point will be Pluto. I kind of remember where it was. Oh, ah. Maybe not. Ah, there's a crossing up here. This is very good. I think this one here. Oops. I think we're st nah, now we're back. Yeah. Damn camera flipped again. Still a one take. Didn't happen. Well now I'm on a little bit of better road. Less rocks. Oh pavement. There's even pavement. So just get to Pluto. All this thing mission accomplished finally. But I mean, imagine these distances. There's so much nothingness in between the planets and in between the stars. There's even more in between the stars, Tunnel under the highway. Out of the tunnel. Oh. Still paving. Nice. Put a gear down. Go down a little bit. I think we're almost there. Oh, I'm a bit out of shape. I have to train more. Oh, it's easier to drive the bike with both hands also. I'm just doing this on my cheap, stupid old camcorder. No GoPro or anything. Is it that? I think I see it. Yeah, I think it's there. Oh. Yep, we made it. Pluto. Here we go. Last one. Planet Pluto. That's it for today. Hope to see you for the next video soon. If you liked it, subscribe, like, you know the drill. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.